The year is 1200 BC. The world is in turmoil. A series of calamities have struck the ancient civilizations of the Mediterranean and the Near East, bringing them to the brink of collapse. What caused this sudden and widespread downfall? And what were the consequences for the people who lived through it? The story begins in the late Bronze Age, a time of prosperity and innovation. For centuries, the great kingdoms and empire of the day had enjoyed a flourishing trade network that spanned from Italy to Afghanistan and from Turkey to Egypt. They exchanged valuable metals such as copper and tin to produce bronze, the strongest and most brilliant metal of its day. They also traded luxury goods such as gold, ivory and ceramics that showcased their artistic and cultural achievements. They built monumental palaces and temples and employed scribes to keep records of their finances and military exploits. They developed sophisticated systems of writing such as hieroglyphs, cuneiform and linear B. They worshipped a variety of gods and goddesses and performed rituals and sacrifices to appease them. But this golden age was not to last. Around 1200 BC, a series of disasters began to unfold that would shatter the delicate balance of power and stability in the region. The first sign of trouble was the series of earthquakes that rocked the island of the Aegean and Antolia. These natural disasters damaged many cities and towns and disrupted the trade routes that connected them. The earthquakes also triggered volcanic eruptions such as the one that devastated the island of Thera, the home of the Minoan civilization. The volcanic ash clouded the sky, blocking the sun and lowering the temperatures. This in turn affected the climate and the harvests, leading to famine and disease. The second sign of trouble was the appearance of mysterious invaders known as the Sea Peoples, who attacked the coastal regions of Eastern Mediterranean. The Sea Peoples were a confederation of various groups such as the Pelisith, the Jaker, the Shekhelsh, and the Vishesh. They came from different origins but shared a common goal to plunder and conquer the lands of the Bronze Age civilizations. They were armed with iron weapons which were superior to the bronze weapons of their enemies. They also had fast and agile ships which gave them an advantage in naval warfare. They raided and burned many cities and towns such as Ugarit, Sedon and Tyre. They also clashed with major powers of the day such as the Egyptians, the Hittites and Mycenaeans. The third sign of trouble was the internal strife and rebellion that plagued many of the Bronze Age kingdoms and empires. The social and economic pressures caused by earthquakes, the famine and the invasions led to the unrest and dissatisfaction among the people. They began to question the authority and legitimacy of their rulers who had failed to protect them and provide for them. They also began to challenge the dominance and influence of their neighbors who had exploited them and oppressed them. They rose up against their oppressors and fought for their independence and freedom. They also formed new alliances, new coalitions and sought new opportunities and territories. The result of these combined factors was the collapse of the Bronze Age civilization. Within a few decades, many of the great kingdoms and empires of the day had fallen or fragmented. The palace economy of the Mycenaeans, the Asian region and Antolia disintegrated, transforming into small isolated village cultures of the Greek Dark Ages. The Hittite empire of Antolia and the Levant collapsed, leaving behind a patchwork of smaller states and kingdoms. The new kingdom of Egypt survived but was weakened and isolated, losing its control and influence over the lands of Canaan and Syria. The Babylonian Empire also survived, but was overshadowed by the rise of the Assyrian Empire, which became the dominant power in Mesopotamia and the Near East. The collapse of the Bronze Age civilization also brought about a new cultural and technological change. The use of bronze declined and was replaced by the use of iron, which was more abundant and cheaper. The Iron Age began ushering in new era of metallurgy and warfare. The systems of writing that had been developed in Bronze Age also declined and some of them, such as Linear B, disappeared completely. The literacy and learning that had been cultivated in Bronze Age also diminished and many of the records and texts that had been written were lost or destroyed. 
The religious and mythological beliefs that had been shared in the Bronze Age also changed and new gods and goddesses emerged, such as the Olympian gods of the Greeks. The collapse of Bronze Age civilization was a time of crisis and transformation. It was a time of destruction and loss, but also a time of innovation and adaptation. It was a time of chaos and darkness, but also a time of opportunity and renewal. It was a time that marked the end of one world and beginning of another. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Thank you for watching and see you next time.